Hello interwebs and welcome to WatchGuard Security Week in Review, a video podcast dedicated to quickly summarizing the biggest information and network security stories each week and to sharing practical security tips along the way. I'm your host and security nerd Corey Nockreiner and this is the episode for the week starting January 19th, 2015. Let's start by recapping the daily Security Byte videos. On Monday, I covered how the NSA allegedly had hijacked North Korean computers long ago, and that may be why they can so easily attribute the Sony attack to North Korea. A very interesting story, but there's really been no updates confirming this. On Tuesday, I talked about the Oracle Critical Patch Update. There's a ton of patches covering a huge amount of Oracle products, fixing over 169 vulnerabilities in these products. If you're an Oracle user, you should definitely get the patch. As an aside, if you're a Chrome user, recently there is also a big Chrome patch fixing 65 vulnerabilities. So Chrome users typically auto-update, but if you don't, go get that patch. On Wednesday, we talked about a zero-day flash flaw which bad guys were using in exploit kits on the internet. The good news is, the day after, Adobe patched this flash issue, so you can update flash and be safe from this flaw. Finally, yesterday on Thursday, I talked about the Barrett Brown case. This alleged anonymous supporter got five years in prison for linking to stolen files. I don't really know if this is a good ruling for computer security because there's many cases where researchers actually post links to known bad files for research purposes. With those covered, let's move on to Friday's story. Today's big story is Google Project Zero strikes again. Project Zero is of course the Google project that buys vulnerabilities and tries to disclose them to vendors to help them patch their software. However, this week, Google disclosed three zero-day vulnerabilities in OS X, Apple's popular operating system. I won't go into a ton of details on the vulnerabilities. They're all local elevation of privilege flaws and things like Network D, the I.O. kit, and uh, OS X's Bluetooth module. But if a bad guy can get access to your Apple computer, he may be able to use at least one of these flaws to gain root access. Now, I really don't like Google's hard-coded 90-day limit for disclosing flaws. They've put Apple in a hard spot, more specifically Apple customers, because now there's no patches for these vulnerabilities and of course Google's also disclosed proof of concept code. At the beginning I really liked the idea of Project Zero because it helps all kinds of software vendors improve their software code. But now I see Google being so hard-nosed sticking to this 90-day limit, I'm starting to very much dislike it. You know, Microsoft and Apple make an operating system that millions of businesses depend on. So sometimes there's complications that make patching certain things take longer than 90 days. I think it's very disingenuous of Google not to allow vendors time if there's communication between the two as far as what's happening with the patch. In any case, if you're an OS X user, there's not much you can do about this right now, but look for an update from Apple soon. Well, that's it for today's video. I hope you're enjoying this new video format, which includes our daily videos. As always, there's a ton of stories out there, which I usually post in the blog post associated with this video. But as regular watchers might have noticed, our blog's been down for quite a while. The good news is we're bringing it back up. In fact, it might be starting to come back up now. So by next week, I should have the blog back up and we'll resume our daily posts. So you can always find this blog at blog.watchguard.com or at WatchGuardSecurityCenter.com. You can also follow me on Twitter, I'm SecAdept, or you can follow WatchGuard at WatchGuardTech. Thank you for watching, and here at WatchGuard, we're rooting for you. Hey guys, did you miss any of the daily security bites from this week? If not, no worries. I have them all posted here on YouTube, so you should go check them out. Don't worry, I'll wait. Have you looked at them yet? There might be something interesting. You should check them out. Well, anyways, thanks for following us.